Hey everyone, this is Lisa from Happy to Hook Creations. Today is August 1st. It's my birthday month. I'm excited. Um, yeah, it's going by quick. It is so hot outside. It's like with the heat index, I think it was like 96 or something, something horribly un unruly. <laughs> anyway, I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, I'd like to say hi to all my subscribers. Thank you so much for popping in and seeing if you like me and hitting that like and subscribe button. I appreciate you so much for your support. I have several social media platforms that I'm on. They will all be linked in the description box below. I also have my contact information in the description box below. I want to wish everyone, if today, August 1st, is your birthday, <laughs> I want to wish everyone a happy birthday. And today is my sister Crystal's birthday. She is 47 today. So happy birthday, Crystal. And if you are having an anniversary, congratulations and happy anniversary to you both. And I hope you have a wonderful day as well. Now, I'm going to do something a little unusual for this month. <laughs> I'm going to try anyway. I am going to try to put out a video every day for this month. I don't know if I want to technically call it Vlogmas or or not Vlogmas, but Vlogist or whatever you guys are calling it. I just think if I can, if I have time, I'll do a video. So if I miss a day or two, since I'm not classifying it as a daily vlog, I won't feel so bad. I'm just updating you as the things come in. Tomorrow, my premiere yarn is set to come. Now it looks just like, hello? Man, I keep thinking I hear noises. I just got home. Um, I've been home about 20 minutes. I'm the only one here, no one's here yet. The grandbabies are coming tonight or maybe tomorrow, I don't remember. Um, and Abby is at work, so, and Jack is at work. But uh, anyway, <laughs> anyway, my premiere yarn should be here. It's parfait chunky, but I love to show you because I love the colors. I think I got some really nice vibrant colors to make some amigurumi with. So I can't wait to show that to you. If it comes tomorrow when I'm home from work and it's not too late, it's like five o'clock and it's, I mean, the sun is like, whew, it's so nice to see it though. Cause this morning it was rainy and cloudy and overcast. So I'm excited that there's sun. I'm not going to complain at all. Um, so tomorrow I will show you the premiere. This box right here is from Heather. I got it in my P.O. box the other day. It is donations. And I wanted to show you guys what was inside. I mean, I don't even know. I just, you know, I had my daughter open them up. Oh, I already like what's on the top right here. Let's open this up. Ooh, I get to add this to my calendar cal, which I'll be picking the winners tomorrow. So if um, you want to post a picture for the greeting card cow, you need to put it in today because tomorrow I am going to be picking the winners and showing what the August calendar cow or uh, crochet calendar cow would be, or not calendar, crochet <laughs> greeting card. I must have calendar on the brain or something. So this came from Heather, the crochet witch. I'm not sure if she has a channel. If she does, I will get it and I will link it in the description box below. And I would love it if you guys went over there and um, showed her some love. And let's see, she sent me some items. Yeah, she sent me a few things, a few cards I used in my tutorials. Oh, she's got tutorials. She must have a, um, a, a channel. So I'm going to find that and I'll put it in the description box when I upload this. Yay, and look. It's going in the basket with the other cards. This one is super cute. Oh, okay. So, oh man, I already see this one looks like a cowl. I'm trying to keep everything together. So, yeah, this is a cowl. Look at those. Look at the colors. Ooh, wee. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Let me stack them up here. Got a hat. Nice and stretchy and thick. Ready for winter. Oh my gosh, the colors. You use some awesome colors, Heather. Look at that one. Uh, wait for it, wait for it, look. That's so pretty. Oh 
my gosh. And the yarn is really soft. Was this a cake? Probably, oh, I don't know, it might have been. I don't know, was this a cake or are these three separate colors? Because you know, sometimes a cake is spread out so much with the colors that you could actually make a hat. Any, in any case, um, Heather, those colors are beautiful. Nice and fall, oh my gosh, so pretty. Oh, and there's a set, a hat and a scarf, or a hat and a cowl, sorry. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm oh my good. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Do you have patterns for these, Heather? Because this is really nice. I think I want to make it. I really love it. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh. Another cowl. And you know, I love front posts and back posts, and she's got them on both ends. That would be so cute for a little one to get under. Oh my gosh, look at this cute little set. That is so pretty. Look at all the purples that are in there. Oh my gosh. Oh, look, there's two. Again, fall colors, guys. With some popcorn stitches. Look at that. This would be great for a brother and sister, sister and sister, brother and brother. I love it. Oh, and this one has sparkles. Can you guys see the sparkles in that? Yep, there you go. Heather, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, no she didn't. Hold on you guys, hold on. Look at this one. Another purple, a slouchy hat, and another cowl. Are you ready for this? She made a cat hat. <laughs> That is too cute. Look at that. And it's a sparkly one. Oh my goodness. Girl, you made some nice, nice hats in these beautiful colors. Oh, I love when people donate the hats. I love seeing what everyone makes. It's just the most amazing thing. So here is the little cowl. And it has a matching, or it could be, you know what? It could be an ear warmer. It's definitely, I bet that's what that is. Looks like an ear warmer. And then you've got a headband. Oh my gosh. Okay, here's, oh, look at that. This is some nice yarn. What kind of yarn is this? This one I think I know. Oh, I like that too. Look at how that fits. It almost looks like the, um, what is it called? The beehive beanie? That's what it kind of reminds me of. It's pretty cool. Ooh, this is nice and soft. This is like a landscapes, maybe. Landscapes are unforgettable. I don't know. But it works up really nicely. Here's another one. Look at that. Oh, I like the colors on this one, too. Gonna make some heads very nice and warm. Oh, this one's cool. What kind of pattern is this? I think I need the pattern of this hat, Heather. So take a good look, let me know, send me an email, happy to hook at gmail.com. That's really cute, I love it. And then look at the brim, you guys. Look at that, you just fold it up and then You've got, look at how nice and stretchy that is. That is so neat looking. I love that. Oh my gosh. Wow, thank you so much, Heather. That is so wonderful. So these, um, we're gonna be putting together, it's almost time for us to put together our, um, our uh, oh, what do we call them? Uh, shoe boxes, our Christmas shoe boxes. I'm gonna take a few of those hats to that. I'm also gonna take those to um, Oasis, which is a homeless shelter for men, Salvation Army, and also Catholic Charities here in town. So that's gonna serve a lot of people. Thank you so much, Heather, I appreciate it. Now, there was one other, oh yeah, oh, that's an order I gotta get out. I almost forgot about. Okay, so, um, I got, since I ordered like 40 
something. I don't know, 47. I should put this in my hair up. But I put, I made like, or I, I ordered like 47 uh, skeins of yarn, the Parfait Chunky. So today is August 1st, and I do have, my next show is August 23rd and 24th. It is a Friday and a Saturday. So I'm just kind of tweaking everything and, you know, making sure that I have enough stuff. <laughs> do you really ever have enough stuff? So since it's the first, I've, I've already done this video here. Tomorrow, I will kind of give you guys an idea. Since I'm going to show Parfait Chunky, I'm going to show you the items that I've been making with the Parfait Chunky, what hook size I'm using, and what the pattern is. So we'll do that tomorrow. Um, but I wanted to show you that I went to Wal Walmart. Oh, sorry, this is stuck. Hold on. My tape got stuck to yarn. <laughs> I got I to gotta fix that. Oh, it's all the way on the inside. Hold on. Anyway, I went to Michael's. There was a Michael's where I had to go to see my client. And I decided to stop. <sighs> Whatever. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> sure I do. I want to tell you all the, the, the things I bought. First of all, they have this really cool two-gallon, um, like... like the sun jars that you use, only it's like plastic and it had the little spout and it was a two gallon and I got it for 70% off. It was like four bucks. Woo, super excited. I don't have it. It's in there. It already has tea in it because Jack's a tea drinker. So um, anyway, <laughs> I went back to the yarn section and they had their Snuggles Light, which I've been using um, not particularly fond of the Snuggles, the larger one, the, the number seven. Um, I'm hoping that this, this Snuggle light and the like, I don't know, dots or it's not even called anything. Just Sweet Snuggles light. I don't know if it's dots or just multi. And this is Dusty Mint. And these were, it's upside down, $5. It was $5. It's 174 yards. Seven ounces, 200 grams, or 160 meters. So um, I did buy this this one. I bought the blue one. So that one's called Dusty Mint. The blue one is called Tranquil Dot. And this one is called Grapes Dot. This was the only one they had. So I wanted to get two of each. That's it. I didn't go hog wall crazy. I wanted to, uh, but I didn't because <laughs> here's one I really, I was like so happy about because I wanted to make a larger hippo and this one is, let's see the colorway in case you guys, I'm going to give you the colorway in case you guys have a Michaels and you're looking for this. So this one is gray. It is a number six and it is, this one is sweet snuggles light, but because it's a solid it has 218 yards and it's 8.8 .8 ounces, 200 meters or 250 grams. And the gray was on sale also for $5. They only had two, so I bought them both. Um, so with this gray, I'm gonna make no so elephants. I'm going to make uh, a kit or a love cat. I'm going to make hippos and stingrays. So with those two, that... <clears throat> That will be um, very, very useful. Uh, I got another multi. This is Coastal Dot, and I thought it was really pretty. So with these, I plan on making Octos, Stingrays, and Octos and Stingrays. I don't know. Maybe just those two. We'll see. We will definitely see, but I thought they would make good Octos. These are number six weight but to me it kind of looks like a five so when i bought it when i bought it first and use it for the first time this reminds me a lot of parfait chunky um i like parfait chunky i mean i thought it was a great deal it was like three dollars and 65 cents uh i buy parfait chunky a lot and i also buy hobby lobby's adora ball now the adora ball is really nice i love to use it but it only has um I think like 92 yards or 87 yards and Parfait Chunky has 131. 
So that's the big difference to me, in my opinion, because they're very similar yarns. But, you know, I try to buy more Parfait Chunky than I do Adora Ball when it's on sale for $350. So I can get an Adora Ball for $350, but I'd get, you know, almost 50 yards more when I buy Parfait Chunky. And I don't mind using it at all. You just have to be careful, as I stated in my last video or the couple of videos ago, when you start it in the middle, you have to use a larger hook because, you know, this is polyester. It's some of this yarn is good and strong, but some of them, they're not. So they're going to come apart. It's going to shed. It's going to be, it's just, you know, it is what it is, but just, uh, just be prepared. Okay. And then the last dot one that I got was this one and it's called, what was it called, Ballerina or something? Oh, Ballet Slipper, Ballet Slipper Dot. And I got one, this is the one that they had. So $5 guys, if you want to get to your Michaels, they were five bucks. Um, so yeah, I think I saw, I don't know who it was, but there was, there was a lot of them popping up for $5 and this lady, on this video on YouTube, went to like four different Michaels and bought everything that they had. Um, she probably bought over a hundred skeins of this yarn. I didn't do that because I got a lot of yarn that I already have that I'm, you know, trying to work through. But I don't have these colors, which is why I got them. And they're, you know, since I'm making amigurumi, I wanted to make, I'm gonna put them back in here. I wanted to make sure that I had a nice variety of colors I really, really like this coastal. It's really pretty. But they all are. I can't wait to get them worked up and, you know, just to see how they're going to, um, because I've had the solid ones, but I haven't had, I haven't had the uh, dots before. So I got these. I think I'm probably going to give them to my daughter because I'm just not a huge fan of the Sweet Snuggles. I like the Sweet Snuggles Light. This one kind of comes apart when you pull it. It breaks off. So if you're so this is not, in my opinion, this is my opinion, you guys. I'm not being sponsored by Michaels at all. But I'm just giving you my opinion because I've tried this yarn, this size. This size is not practical to me to make amigurumi. It's very tricky. I've made two squids out of them and man, I I probably, it broke off like three or four times before I finally got it tightened up enough to start the head of the squid. But once it's done, it's super soft and that's just makes me so upset. But um, these were also now $5 and I bought this mint green. And I'm thinking if I'm gonna keep these, if my daughters don't want them, I'm just gonna make blankets. I won't, I don't think I'm gonna make amigurumi out of it because it was just too stressful for me. It was driving me nuts. Um, this is definitely gonna be a blanket and that's what this was purchased for. Um, hold on, this one, 109 yards. See that, 109 yards, 8.8, .8, 100 meters, 250 grams. But it is a number seven. This one is also a number seven. It's the Sweet Snuggles, it's stripes. It's 87 yards. And I showed this to a lady who wanted me to make a blanket for her. And be, not this one. They're in the living room. It's pink, white, and gray. Super pretty. Um, and, and I'm using my clover hook, the purple one. I think that's the M, I believe. But it's, it, you know, it's working up nicely. I bought three skeins of those, the last three they had. They had two of this color, and this color is called granite stripe. So this one's just grays and white, dark gray, light gray, and a white. And oh, here it is right here, actually. I did have one because I took two in there. So this is the blanket I'm making, and I've already, I'm almost done with the second skein already. I started it last night. I just bought these yesterday, um, and I wanted to get started on it right away because, you know, I don't have a lot of room on here. These are just so large that I have to keep them in a separate container in my guest room. So rather than put them in there, I'm like, let me just make it now. So I sent this to her. She liked it. This will be going probably tomorrow. If I can show the blanket before I send it to her, I will. Otherwise, I'll just take a picture. And when I do a video, 
I'll um, show you how it looks. Just using a half double. I don't want to do anything too freaky weird with this yarn because it just won't work. In my opinion, if you've used it and this worked great for you, that's awesome. But it breaks, it sheds. I can't do amigurumi with it. A blanket may be, be just what it's, it's needing. But um, yeah. And then I have to get this purple one. I have to get it, guys. I have to. It's purple. It just says purple. I wasn't sure what color it was. Look at how beautiful. And I have made a squid out of this one. So as pretty as it is, pulling this thing off. Look at that. Just, just pulling it. Just comes right off of there. So I can see why this is $5. Um, I really can. But again, tie this off, burn it off, something to keep it from doing that. Um, I looked, because this was happening so often with this yarn, when I first bought it at, well, it was regular price, but it was only like three something. It was actually less than $5 because I always use my rewards. But um, you can, there are ways to keep this from, from doing that. I just don't want to go through all that trouble. I'll burn it off or whatever. What I did was just tie a little knot so that it wouldn't come off. And then um, I finally got my squid made. So, but I, I think, like I said, instead of making amigurumi, I'm just going to make blankets with this. I had two of these. They only had two. Um, but it's 109 yards. Even it'll make a nice baby blanket. And it's so soft and squishy. And, I, and you know what? I didn't even look to see how, it's, how it washes. Machine wash warm. Do not bleach. Dry flat. Do not iron. Okay. Well. I don't know. It makes it makes sense. I'm just I got two of each color that they had, and they only had two colors. They had that purple, and then they had turquoise. That's beautiful. And yes, I made a squid out of this as well, but I won't be making amigurumi out of it. It's going to be a blanket. I don't know if I'm gonna stripe it because I have other um, I have other loops and threads yarn in there, or it's just gonna be all one color. I'm just going to use it up so I don't have to place it in my in my guest room in that big box of all of my chunky yarn. And I didn't have room up there because it's almost the size of this one. These are just a little bit bigger still. So these are number seven and so are these, but this is a light number seven when you compare them to those. So those I'm going to use my fingers with to make blanket. This one I'll use my M hook. So if you guys have a Michaels and you're used and you're curious, and to see if they have anything on sale, I think it would be a great idea, especially if you're looking for yarn. It's soft, soft and squishy. I can't wait to show you the blanket. Like I said, I'm on the second one of the striped, um, that purple or that pink striped one. It is just gorgeous, but I just don't recommend it for me personally. I don't recommend it for myself. I'm not like I'm not going to tell you not to buy it. I'm just saying you saw what I did when I pulled it. It came right off of there. You got to tie it off, cinch it off with some, with some, um, you know, with a match or a lighter or whatever, and then use it. I'm just going to make a blanket and call it a day. But $5 is not a bad deal at all. So just go in there knowing, you know, have a game plan. If you're going to buy that yarn, you know, just know what you're going to make with it and then buy it. I used to just buy yarn because it was on sale. So there's plenty of yarn because they had some at the other place that I was at today. I didn't buy one skein at all. I was just like, mm, I already got it. Let me see how it works out. It was five bucks. I, I'm not buying anything else that uh, it's just going to sit in my room. So I got the colors that I didn't have. I got those uh, that purple and that turquoise because I do want to make a baby blanket. And we'll go from there. We will definitely go from there. I cannot wait till my Parfait Chunky comes. And I can show you guys the colors. And then all this is going to be different. I got my helpers coming tonight. And this weekend, it'll you'll see the differences as I do videos. Because we're just going to, it's going to gradually start changing. Um, but anyway, I can't wait for you to see it. If you guys have used Loops and Threads Snuggles Yarn, and you don't have that problem. And if you do have that problem, how do you correct it? How do you fix it to go on with your project? Because I'm just not comfortable with making amigurumi if it's going to shed like that. So let me know in the comments below if you've used it and what you have made with it. And, you know, let me know if you go to Michael's and 
take advantage of that deal. They had a bunch of yarn for five bucks. I didn't get any other than that. I just got, you know, what I needed. Um, I got a, you know, I always call my friends and say, hey, I'm at Michael's. You need something? And I get them whatever they need. Um, I got a few. She watches this. So I got a few surprises for my granddaughter. Her birthday's in 11 days. And she'll be 19. And she's been crocheting. So <laughs> she made a Kelsey, a uh, passionate Kelsey bandana, the granny stitch bandana for my craft show. She's, I think she's made four now. I'm so proud of her, you guys. So, so proud. And then Abby is, I or, ended up ordering another machine. Hers is definitely broken. I don't know what's wrong with it. It won't, it keeps skipping stitches. I don't have time to figure it out. I fought, found one for half the price that I bought that one for. It's also a Centro. For $37, I'm just gonna get her another one because she really wants to start making more ear warmers. So I'm like, okay. Make those ear warmers. Do what you got to do. All right. I think that's it, guys. Till I see you tomorrow, hopefully. You'll see if my, oh, I hope my premiere yarn shows up. It's got to come, right? We'll see. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. Um, so I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> Happy hooking, everyone. Bye for now.